Now let's talk about that thing you see over my shoulder. The Boise State football team, less than 24 hours away from its date with Tennessee Martin, an FCS opponent that will either provide a breakout game for BSU stars or a tremendous letdown for all of Bronco Nation. The Skyhawks are no cupcake as far as the championship series opponents go. UTM went 9-3 last year and knocked off ranked Chattanooga last week thanks to dual 100-yard rushing days from DJ McNeil and Trent Garland. You see the name on the back of that uniform? Tennessee Martin utilizes a two quarterback system and one of the signal callers is Brett Favre's nephew Dylan. After last week's debacle in Seattle, the Broncos aren't taking any win for granted. I think our job is definitely don't underestimate, underestimate any opponent. You know, they got some good players out there. So, I mean, it's just going to be like any other game. I've seen enough of them to know that these guys, hey, they, they can beat us. They can beat a lot of people. Boise State will debut some changes to Bronco Stadium tomorrow, most notably the Blameyer Athletic Complex and the fancy new video board, something Boldevine has had his eye on. It, it looks pretty cool, actually. It looks, uh, it's, it's big, you know. Um, you know, maybe someday you get a chance to look at yourself running the, into the ants on or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, I hope we see him up there, too, in a good way.